guys, almost addicted here, and today we will be building this beautiful Japanese castle or fortress. I guess it's more of a fortress than anything else. So I'm going to take a quick look and uh, yeah, see what you think. It's just coming night, so I just kind of wanted to show you how lit up it is. And yeah, so let's take a look around and then I will show you around in the light. But I kind of want to show you it as it's just getting dark. But as you can see, we've got some nice little areas here. We've got some nice little pond areas. We've even got an archery area here. So you can like stand behind here and do your archery. And we've got loads of walkways. So these walkways take you all the way around. And I haven't actually done the full interior or anything like that. So it takes you around into here. And there is a tower going up there. So there is a lot of interior to do. Uh, this is out the back. And then this one takes you on to, if I can get through, the next balcony. And you can get down into like this little courtyard here where we've got a nice little Japanese swing. And then takes you down into like a nice little furnace area. And uh, yeah, nice little seating area and it can take you back up here as well. And then we have got a tower here. So uh, you could probably do some floors and levels on these and then it takes you down into the front entrance kind of here. Now uh, slash time set 2000, let me go to daylight so you can kind of see it a little bit better. So this is the front entrance and uh, we've got some nice like dragons coming out, we've got them over there as well. This is kind of like the little tower area. So this is all block for block tutorials, so make sure you slap a like on the video. It took me a very long time, so I really do appreciate it. And I've done like these little features here as well, some like ladders that lead on to like these areas. Obviously we're gonna have to put a floor down there and stuff like that. Some more kind of ladder areas. Obviously you can put an actual ladder there, but I kind of, uh, yeah, just kind of like the, the look of it more than anything else. So yeah, and we can put some floors on here. There's loads of different areas where you can put different like floor levels and stuff. And you can maybe dig into the ground and uh, do a lot of work down there. We've got some banners around, but obviously you can look online and get some proper Chinese, Japanese uh, banners. Uh, we've got a lot of detail in here and even this tower here at the top. It's kind of nice. So hopefully you get inspiration from this video and uh, yeah decide to uh, build something from it so yeah we've got that watch out tower we've got a nice little area here that brings you down into this area hanging baskets there's places for storage we've got like some wood storages here we've got some nice little bamboo areas here some grinders at the side and stuff and then when you come through here the, these light up because of the pressure plates we've got some nice little water kind of going through here and then you can go on here and uh, yeah leads you down into that area and yeah there is quite a lot to this build Um did take me quite a while and it's quite a, a nice fortress you could obviously keep expanding we've got a nice little wall around there but yeah hopefully you get something from this video definitely slap a like on the video if you only just come across the channel if you do subscribe make sure you hit that bell button otherwise you won't get notifications for the videos and you just what there's no point subscribing because yeah hopefully you get something from this video and i shall uh, yeah let's do this okay so let's build this japanese house slash courtyard i've put this off for a long time uh, but yeah i'm gonna do it today so i'm gonna go all the way to the back here so it should fit in a 52 by 62 so 62 long ways 52 up and i'm gonna start over here so let's count it all out um so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen let's go from 15 there six one two three four like that first block of spruce like that and then we can yeah start this right so i'm gonna count let me just see how it looks this is gonna be the big building right so three gaps another three gaps another three gaps and another three gaps like that one two three four five and then we're gonna have one two three four five six seven gaps on the eighth one 
and then we're going to go two back two gaps and then one we should have that so far and then we're going to have one two three four five six seven eight nine gaps on the tenth one two gaps so it should be like that and then we're going to have one two three four five six seven on the eighth one like that and then three gaps three gaps three gaps three gaps and then here same as over there so seven gaps two gaps there nine gaps there like that so up in the air it should look like that she have two bits coming out here two bits coming out here and then yeah those down there let me just check my settings uh, you can have a look at my shaders so I use Chocopix 13 for this one and um, so yeah and my texture pack and stuff because everybody keeps asking me uh, it's default just default texture pack nothing fancy um, so yeah uh, but you have to set the settings in a certain way so I guess I'll show people the settings I'm sorry for people who are just wanting to build this uh, yeah I just have it like that simple <laughs> nothing nothing much right so um, yeah let's start on this building in fact maybe I should get the structure down so this is obviously the front facing from here let's go from the side here so in the middle we've got these two we've got this one in the middle and then either side of them so we're gonna go one two three four five and then place one one two three four five gaps and then place one and then starting from this one five gaps five gaps like that so it's the front of the building and then you've just got that coming out there and then there's three gaps in between each one of these or five actually maybe so we're starting on this side five gaps five gaps five gaps five gaps five gaps and then five gaps between here as well and just go back up five gaps five gaps five gaps and I'll go up in the air so you can count them all after as well and then so start this is the front I'm gonna have five gaps five gaps five gaps five gaps between all of them and then at the front here there's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen gaps on the fifteen one fifteenth even this is going to be our main entrance into the place and two gaps another two gaps there so yes and um, this one in the middle is because i'm going to have a slight wall there maybe so three gaps three gaps three gaps three gaps three gaps and it should be in line with this so then we're going to have count one two three four gaps for this one place that one there now we're at the side where our 52 was we're going to have two gaps and one back two gaps two gaps or three gaps there just like that and then round here we're going to have one two three four five six seven eight nine gaps place one and then one two three four five gaps and then one two three gaps and then yeah so five gaps five gaps one two one two three four five six seven gaps this one and then one two three four five gaps another five gaps and then there should be five gaps in between there now that was the big building so the middle there and then that and then we're going to start from this one here five gaps another five gaps and then back here should be five gaps and five gaps between there so i'm going to go over here up in the air make sure you've got them all kind of like that and yeah you've got the first stage done and i'm going to work on this building i kind of just wanted to get the those down ready um so yeah now height wise i have no idea so we're going to start from this square here where we've got these two coming out so we've got the one two three four five up there one two three four five within this square here so we're just going to be working on that for the time being so count that as one two three four five six seven eight i'm going to go for a actually i'm going to bring this all the way across and go up and join this like that 
and now I'm going to go all the way across here bring that up boom and then all the way across here don't need to count it because we've already got our things down here we're working in with that rectangle just basically squaring it off getting our framework ready and then on the inside we can bring all these ones up and then we can kind of work with what we've got there so bringing all these ones up that are going to be touching the framework at the top not the ones on the outside because I think I might do those a bit lower because like these bits they're going to be part of the roof or another roof coming off it I might actually do it the same level I haven't decided yet I've kind of got a rough idea of what it's going to look like in my head but it doesn't always turn out like that because um, I just kind of gauge it as I go so yeah I think I'm going to go with that this across and across same at the other side as well and then bring these up like this there we go so you got that framework down and um, let me see tempted to do the roof um, but I kind of want something popping out the top there um, I kind of don't want to do it like two stories high but I want a tower kind of poking out the top. So the tower, hmm, five, six, seven, probably one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, probably about seven. So what I'm going to do here, probably to make it easier, is if I put this from here to here, it'll be a lot easier. Now I have to find like... Um, let me try this. Two gaps between there for now. And um, this is just placement, so just wait while I kind of figure it out. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so, if we count. Mm. Um, one, 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 one there, and then what I can do is kind of this is just kind of like a framework for now. So on the inside of here, this should be seven times seven if I've done it correctly. If I haven't, um, yeah, I need to rework it. So that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you want it perfectly in the middle. Um, that is just kind of framework for now. So we're just going to place this, and we can remove all these, and we can kind of figure out how it's going to work. So yeah, we've got those seven by seven. It's probably best to do this. So if we keep those things there. We can go across like this, so it's kind of like underneath. Like that, and then that to there. So, yeah. Something like that. Um, Let me see, because I think I'm going wrong here. So, yeah. So imagine all these are kind of like crisscrossing, joining in together within the square. So, like this. Yeah. Like that, we've got our seven times seven in there, and uh, yeah, make it a bit easier. I'll probably fill it in like this. You should be able to do two, one, two, 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 one, two, 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 one, all the way around, and then you've got your seven by seven here, like this. And I'm using the sandstone here, but you can use a white block or any block of your choice. Um, but yeah, that's kind of so I know where um, it's all going to land when I do my roof and stuff. So yeah. Okay. So let's use the dark prismarine. It's probably good, but I might start here. Um, here, sorry. And then I can 
kind of get some stuff underneath here like that so yeah I'm gonna do it like that so like this and poking out by there so basically just placing it on there and then removing it and I'm sorry if it's not like perfect because I'm trying to figure it out in my head as I go so uh, yeah don't be building straight away when I'm building because a lot of the time I'm kind of figuring it out in my head before I'm, I'm planning it if you know what I mean so let's do this as kind of a normal roof so um, maybe we should have it popping out a bit more and then we can do some more fancy stuff so popping them out by two like this just overhanging by two and then we can do the the typical stair under for this kind of little bit I don't want to make the roof too high um, I kind of want to stick it make it normal kind of thing uh, so it doesn't get too complex because otherwise this video is going to be super super long and just nobody will build it so uh, there's not really much point but if it does really well I guess I could do it a bit more advanced but uh, yeah like if I was building this and it wasn't a tutorial I'd probably um, yeah go full out but I think I'm just gonna stay a little bit reserved at least right so I'm gonna go like that and maybe have that poking out the end there same with this one so I'll speed this up so exactly what we've done here on that side so yeah okay I've done that and uh, yeah I'm t tempted to have this roof coming down from a different kind of angle uh, but obviously I'd have to do that first now I've done this for the simple reason we know how high to go now so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's go eleven for now and then we can kind of work around how we want it to look and stuff like that so bringing all these up to eleven so there roughly now imagine no nothing can go within this box nothing can kind of like go past here so for the top I kind of want to keep it simple um, but we can add some detail later so bring this all the way up to here you don't want it past you want it just before so imagine it's probably best there actually this is going here probably best to put that there and then we know kind of where to stop so that to there same with this side so bringing this one to here okay so that's the front and um, yeah I'm gonna fill all this in now so from here just fill it all in and here fill all that in same with here as well fill it all in and then we can figure out how that roof kind of comes down here because I kind of want it to I guess what I could do is just have the roof normal but start it going down like this and then overhang here maybe yeah I'm gonna go with that actually uh, just make life a lot more easier to go like that you're just gonna have to remove like those make sure it's overhanging at this side and uh, yeah maybe might do some kind of hmm one one some kind of thing like this yeah like that sort of thing and then when it comes to this it'd be like that should go over I'll do exactly the same on the other side as well but I'm just gonna try and get this one kind of right so that under there may be worth putting a half or a slab there and two stairs behind it like that so yeah and fill that in so exactly what I've done here it might actually be worth putting a full block there 
instead of a stair just so it's got more of an arch and uh, yeah I wonder if it's worth kinda just wanna see if this will look alright just having those kinda sides like that yeah I think something like that would be perfect and then what we can do here is we can have this a bit more fancy like that so yeah just so it stands out a little bit more and uh, yeah looks okay so what we've done here we're going to do exactly on the other side and we're just going to fill all this roof in now so fill everything in but obviously you don't want the roof going through any of this like i said before so i'm going to speed the whole roof up exactly what i've done on that side for this smaller one so just obviously bringing it down and then doing all the fancy stuff so yeah you kind of get the idea and yeah, filling all the roof and hopefully I've explained that all right. If you're confused, um, just rewind the window uh, video, I guess. Video. Um, yeah. So, because I'm kind of doing it on a whim, so I have no idea myself. So I'm going to fill it all in and I'll come back once this roof's done and then we can start to work on a little bit of that. So yeah. Okay, I've done that on both sides now. Um, underneath here, I think it's probably best to kind of do something like this just so it's kind of sorted a bit better like that and that like that now this roof is fairly big so I feel like what we could do is maybe take some out but we're gonna have to find some and do some kind of little roofs off it which would probably look quite cool um, or I guess this is where we could start this roof kind of coming down kind of this is more for fancy really um start the other side of it like this and i wonder i wonder if it's better doing it in a like a different color maybe um let me just experiment a second because i think it might actually look all right um but i'm not 100 percent so i'm gonna experiment and uh yeah I'll come back actually.
yeah okay so i'm going to do this so i've done it on one side so i'm just going to repeat it on the other side to show you guys what i've done so basically i've got this sandstone and i've kind of covered this in first of all like this and yeah on the inside we could probably make sure that that's all level like that just to fill it all in we could probably do the next bit like that the bit of our log okay so I've got that now um, maybe I'm gonna try start doing some of the walls before I start going even higher maybe I think that probably might work um, for this here I'm tempted to um, maybe get some of the spruce and we'll have one here one here one here one here one here and wherever we can fit one in the middle we'll fit one in the middle and then we can thicken it up by bringing these up to meet this and uh, yeah hopefully it should look okay for it and bring it up like this bring this up so whatever I'm doing on this side I'm gonna do it exactly the same on the other side so I'll just do this side first basically um, let's see probably get away with something like this some of the spruce trapdoors like that and then of course we're going to use the smooth sandstone again because I think that would work well um, fill in those two sides like this and I can decide if it's best to maybe have kind of like yeah I kind of want one like this it's a bit more it's kind of like grooved in it's a bit like that and then we can fill all these in and I kind of want some windows here at some point so I might start to do some windows maybe for those two so I might as well bring these one two one two down like that maybe a bit more actually would look better and um, so yeah like that and um, yeah I'm gonna grab some grass blocks and then something like that going across there and then we can grab these again like that and I wonder if we could just go like this and then have that like that so yeah that'd work now instead of windows I'm gonna start using the warped trap doors for something like this I think would work well I'm actually doing from the inside here so stacked up one two three you're gonna have to crouch to get them to kind of work so like that and then maybe something like this I'm just gonna experiment with it and try it out because it might be worth even taking another one out and just having that across there and just having this as like one big huge window kind of thing see how it looks yep yeah, it's looking nice and then uh, we can actually use this to trim across here we can actually do it underneath as well probably work like that yep yeah. I'm liking that you can actually stick one out like that as well um, to make it look pretty good I kind of like how it's looking so yeah um, yeah yeah we'll go with that yeah and then uh, of course you can add some details like adding the buttons in so it's kind of like pinning it in place as I normally do maybe a lantern up there might actually look cool just a lantern dangling down from there and of course you can have your lanterns dangling in different areas but yeah for now I think that's all right maybe have some on there or something we'll put some put them on chains and stuff 
and yeah add some more details so yeah I might completely do this side and then yeah so maybe some up here some up here like this one two at the top and uh, let's see what would work I kind of want to add some color in now so maybe like a red block of some form so I'll just type red in and see what we we get red hmm maybe some of that red or that red I'll just experiment what kind of looks all right how does this look does it look terrible yeah disgusting I don't know why anybody would use that um, this red now that is nice so I'm thinking if we could maybe do them across like this not in these middle ones and I wonder if at the top that would be alright I kind of feel like just not using red for some reason I kind of feel like doing it kind of plain like this um, yeah I'm gonna try this actually one two bring this across and then we've kind of got a gauge of how high we're gonna have our walkways in this so one two from there so this is all gonna be kind of like walkways so I'm gonna get this done before I can yeah so that going across there I wonder what color would be best though maybe something like I'm tempted to do like an oak just for a different color but I might do it in the slab and um, so slab of the oak this is just kind of like doing one little area to experiment with so yeah so obviously it'll go like this I'll just do it to here for now just here this can be my experimental area I'm definitely putting the oak down so you can get that obviously down because um, obviously a builder this size just planning it just would take far too long so I just have to plan on the go so obviously these will be up and then I can add some kind of like I wonder if the orange would actually look all right um, it's kind of like little frames to go with that yeah I think those might work so have those as a frame and then we could incorporate the orange into the build as well by doing it like these things maybe see how it looks kind of feel like I need to swap the sun round so okay I'm back I managed to fix it <laughs> okay right yeah I was experimenting with this I kind of feel like it should be a bit more off the ground though you know or maybe like the bottom could be an andesite or something I do apologize for this um, but do you know what I don't care anymore I'm just gonna do it in like maybe a different style All right. do it to there maybe and a site too high and then we could have this going across here so it's kind of keeping in with the theme of this going round I think would work way better like this and then we can just have the little kind of is it even worth doing those yes yeah, so as I say don't be building yet because you're probably just gonna get angry with the fact that I'm kind of trying to get it right but at the end of the day I'm trying to get it right so it looks okay 
So you get a better build out of it. Um, hmm. Let's see. I wonder if this would work. Just some little side. Yeah. I'm going to do that. So like that. And yeah, I'm going to stick with the this stuff for the windows. I just think it looks way better. You could do it from the inside, actually. It'd probably work better. So yeah. And uh, do we use the orange to keep it different? Or do we use some fence instead, like this? <laughs> I'm sorry about this, but you know. Um, I just kind of want to get it right so it looks good. So yeah, let's try this. So it's just imagine this is experimentation. If you like the orange, keep it like that. But at least this way you get different variations and you don't have to do it yourself. Um, I'm kind of doing it for you. So yeah, let's try this. So if we had something like this here, obviously these will go up more let's put them up more they're definitely going to go up way higher because i'm going to have roofs on top of these but if i had this and then maybe these going across or should i do that these in that blue color because i think that would probably look quite cool as well so i guess i can lay it out and then you guys can see i kind of like the blue with it because it just adds a little bit more colour and it obviously ties it in with that a bit more. I wonder if those work. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go like this actually as well. I'm definitely going to be doing that. All experimentation. Um, I think we could bring it down with some dark prismarine as well just so it comes down a bit more because we kind of don't want that been completely seen but when you're under you see all that and it looks like detail so yeah that's probably a good idea as well so yeah I'm gonna do that with this I'm gonna use this this stuff but obviously if you can't get hold of this you're in survival just don't use it use a different um, block um, right we can get a better idea once it's all kind of placed down. And uh, I kind of want to stick to this theme. So, yeah. I kind of feel like I could probably add some more colours, but I kind of like this. And I want this to kind of stand out, look a bit different from uh, everybody else's. Like here as well. Yeah, it's just a bit different, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to do it to here for now. And then we can obviously work on it a little bit later. But I'm going to actually focus on the house. But I kind of wanted to get this down of how roughly I wanted it to look. So probably to there. We've got a good idea of how it's going to look. So, yeah, we've got all this. Might as well do this bit now. Across here. Um, kind of feel like keeping it open plan you kind of walk through this bit there'll be a stairway going down into that and maybe something like this and then we can maybe add this as a pan yeah yeah, I'm going to go with that. Okay, so yeah. Um, obviously, I'm going to copy what's on this side at that side. Uh, I'll leave all this, but at least get that done. Um, so we'll be copy and pasting that. So I'm going to do this as well. I might have a big window for that so it kind of stands out. So... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Get that. 
that across. Maybe bring that in a bit more. So we can add these. And then, yeah, this across the top. And then obviously from the inside, we can place this. Let's see how we're looking. Very nice, yep. And uh, I've kind of done this andesite here, so just in case we want kind of like some wall levels, maybe if we've had some wall levels at different heights and stuff in the courtyard, it just makes it more interesting. So yeah, kind of uh, doing that for that reason. So I'm going to bring this over to here. I'm going to have some stairs from here, so we might as well just brick it all in with the andesite. So exactly what I've done here, I'm going to do here. And exactly what I've done here, I am going to do here. And then obviously what I've done on that side, I'm going to do here. What I'm going to do on that side, there, there. It's all kind of going to be the same with andesite running all the way around so I could probably speed up a lot of this so I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you the andesite at least get that out of the way and just basically having this running all the way through apart from these main entrances it's probably best to keep those open so having this all the way through as well so the buildings kind of like the same and then we can add the more fancy stuff on the top tower at the top. Um, probably look better for it. Um, so yeah, I'm f in fact I'm going to do it for this as well. Because I'm going to have different floor levels for in here. So that should work out. And that, and oh yeah, yeah, across here. I'm just leaving the the pole that's not going across because we're going to have some stairs going down from there. So yeah, um, what I've done here, I'm going to do here. Opposite side over there, going to do here. What I've done there, there, and here as well. So I'm going to speed all that up, and then we can work on these entrances. Best way to get into it. So. Yeah, I'm going to copy and paste it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to remove this stuff. Hopefully, I haven't put that in. <laughs> I apologize if I have. Um, but yeah, I just decided to not go with it. I did have like things coming up here. So I've just removed them all. But I'm still sticking to, obviously, these themes. So I'm putting these underneath here like this. And then I'm getting the slab of the dark prismarine. I'm putting it across like this and then obviously that under there so I'm gonna do that all the way around so I've done it here in fact have I put these up here now putting these up here like that and I've got this side to do so like that get my dark prismarine and yeah sorry um, let's get that under there so yeah as you can see I've got quite a bit done um, so yeah all of these should be filled in apart from these that's all the way around there that's around there that's around there you kind of get the idea um, so what I was thinking for the roof is we want them five so center with that go up count one take it out there and then we're going to count one, two, three, four, five. And then just another up like that. Another up like that. And I think that should be perfect. So, same here. Going from the center. One, two of the stairs. So you should have slab, stair, and then that's where we take it out. One either side, another two either side, and then that again, that again. I just think it'd be ideal to have something like this so this stacked up like this and then I wonder if it's worth doing it like this 
bringing this falling now bring this up to here and then bring it out like a box so just bringing it back up to where it meets with that bringing it out and then we can have that going across here and then we can start to do this like this and uh, yeah it, the, pl the roof is just way too plain and um, I obviously don't like taking out blocks and tutorials but sometimes you've got to do it and I know there's a lot of people that complain when I do it but I can't I can't help it brother I can't help it um, unless I like pre-plan for hours but at this stage um, I'm just not doing well enough to be able to spend that amount of time pre-planning for hours making sure it's perfect to then have a video flop that could be time could be spent you know like focusing on a different build and hopefully that does well and then eventually when the channel does well again I can obviously start planning but at the moment I just have to kind of go with the flow and see how it goes um, like that I wonder if it's worth that's a bit funky so I guess I could do something like that um, maybe something like that looks a bit more interesting and then we can just add some I wonder if it's worth doing it like slapping another out there and then we can have the lanterns dangling from those it's a bit weird though um, maybe a stair like that experimentation time and like that maybe I guess that's alright ish or just not yeah I'm just going to keep it like this I think um, in fact yeah a lantern could go there it looks less funny okay so yeah I'm gonna do that so basically I'm gonna repeat the process because I was a bit all over the place so I apologize so bringing that out bringing it up to join here and uh, yeah this is how I'd usually build when I'm not doing a tutorial I would be taking out blocks um, doing what I can and it's probably the best way it's just to experiment and if you're doing it in survival just get like a test world and you can do all this testing beforehand and uh, yeah so exactly what I'm doing on this side I'm going to do on the other side uh, as well so there is that I'm going to have those flicking up I might have them poking out like that I think that might be good as well like that yeah gives it more of a Japanese feel um, this going across there that too high like that grab the grass one two three this here either side that there and there that like that and of course we're gonna have this in the middle and then have we got anything else yeah here like that and then of course a lantern so yeah like that and of course on top this will all be covering all that like that so yeah it's kind of like a dragon's mouth I kind of like it as well so yeah that's kind of like it's mouth and then it's eyes yeah looks pretty awesome I kind of like it like that I think it's just way better than those things hanging off it so yeah I'm kind of glad I took it away really so yeah uh, for here um, we can actually keep it well simple for this just fill these in I guess you could have an open window or something like that 
but yeah, I'm going to keep it closed. We can see what we can do a bit later with it. Anyway, uh, so yeah, got that. Yeah, I'll do the other side as well. So I'm going to do exactly the same as what I've done on the front. Do it on this side, so I'll speed this bit up. I'm tempted to actually say that this is part one. Um, and then just do it in parts like this. And it probably, I can gauge to see if it does well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to copy and paste what I've done here on the other side and I'll come back. Right, okay, so I'm going to start on the next roof. So we might have to take some out of these builds, uh, this build bit. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maybe. And then we're going to have the dark prismarine come down. We kind of want this in the middle, so we kind of, just so we can gauge where the middle is. That would come across here, so yeah. Like that. And basically this would kind of wrap around here. And then I kind of want it, maybe these go up one more. I'm just going to do this little area and then we've got an idea of where it's going to go kind of thing. So yeah, it would come down here and then wrap around here and then down again. So I'm going to have to get it to go like this and then it would go like around here and then again would be placed on top of here. You can actually remove the blocks so they kind of look like it's going into the build a bit more. So I'm going to have to remove that place that there remove that to place that there just so it kind of makes more sense and then bring this across to here and like this so basically its own little tiny roof from here this going across maybe this would be this is where it gets tricky I guess so we have this running through here <laughs> oh my god um yeah wait let me just let me just do this side as well just so I kind of know what I'm doing and this would be coming up here <laughs> oh my goodness yeah so instead of that this is gonna have to be this is tricky this one because it will kind of be off unless we have this running through like this um so yeah i might have to do it like that so yeah, I'm going to get it like this, and then just kind of, this goes to here, and this would obviously have to maybe be something like this, and then goes into a, a smaller roof, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, it's just tricky getting this right, because obviously... I haven't had a chance to pre-plan this. And this kind of comes around to here. And instead of that, maybe we could have it all as flat. Because we kind of want this in the center here. And then this would obviously go down a bit more. Coming around into here. And it would have to go into like that so overlap it by one just for now and then I can kind of see what I'm doing um, and then this round to here yeah because it's maybe a bit thicker at the thingy side and I forgot we might as well leave that open and leave this one open then it probably yeah look a little bit better for it and then when this comes over here this could be just kind of like a whole top if you know what I mean so that keep that as that and then this goes like this does 
Does that make sense? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then this can go over to here, and then this comes and joins up here, but we're just going to have to double it here. Like that. And then we can get some lanterns in the stuff. Yeah. A bit of a tricky one, this one, because uh, I don't know exactly what was doing. So... This is turning into horrendous. What is happening? Yeah, see, you kind of get the idea. I'll definitely be using, like, these to light it up and stuff. Just for now. So, yeah, something like that. And then this one's going to have to be like that. Unless we have it to here. Like that. So, yeah. That's alright, I guess. Um, we can have that there that makes more sense there like that so yeah can even do it like that so it covers up that little bit but yeah something like that I think would work I'm gonna have this kind of moving all the way around here and then we're gonna have our entrance there and stuff so yeah like that <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing I'll be honest with you and then um, yeah I'm gonna try this stairs coming down from here and then maybe have like a pole coming all the way up here and up here one here and then maybe we could start to add like a different block in so maybe we could get this stripped oak log that's jungle where is the oak this is turning horrendous sorry for this tutorial but uh yeah and then this to here and then another one here like this and then maybe we could get some of this for like the trim so a trim there crouch down so we can get more there and then we could have this crouch down can we still get under there yes we can perfect so that like that and then this maybe we could have these hanging out like this yes very nice um, and some hanging lanterns of course could maybe hmm, maybe something like nah we'll just keep as is for that that's kind of alright I kind of like it so yeah like that and then we could maybe have these here and then just sticking out at the side like that just so it's kind of overhanging a bit but it's got like a cool sort of thing to it kind of feel like it's worth putting a block here of some form like um, a block of what is this a shroom light um, a target let's just have a look Shroomlight target kind of like target ish. Um, maybe even diamond block, just strategically placed diamond block there. I have no idea where to put the diamonds because I'm not a noob, <laughs> don't build with diamonds normally. I'll put that there. Um, item diamond block any block of your choice obviously it doesn't have to be diamond put an item frame there maybe with the target there oh yes yes you could even do this if you don't want the thingy block you can just do that do you know what I mean that's probably just as good and um, so for around here I'm tempted to use this just to kind of have something different there obviously on the other side as well Whew. tell I'm getting a bit stressed <laughs> these long tutorials man they do me in um, get some bushes here just to add something some flavor flavor you and then 
I kind of feel like... Let's try this. Stone. Get some stone slabs. Run it to here. Okay. We'll do the same on the other side. So exactly the same entrance, same thing, and this on the other side as well. So I'm just going to keep it basic, basically. Um, so stone there, and then we could go up with the stone more. Like this. And then... Add grass, and then could we go up with the stone more and add more grass like that? Yeah, I kind of like how that looks. So, yeah, grass here, and then more stone, grass, boom, and then you can add flowers and decorations. So I'm probably gonna just get some red flowers here and stuff. I guess I kind of want it kind of colourful. Um, oh, man. And then uh, maybe some ferns at the back or something, just in those little bits there. Let's see how that looks. Yes, I like it. I kind of want some running ponds and stuff around with some kind of like stone bricks, not those stone bricks where you kind of you've got to hop from brick to brick around the thing in the courtyard and stuff just to make it look nice i think that would be pretty cool but yeah so far that's pretty awesome i wonder if it's worth having like just a little thing here like a little window way in and then we can have one of these but from the inside like that yes so exactly what i've done here i'm basically with world edit just copy and paste from here stand at the front slash slash copy and then rotate 180 and then what i'm going to have to do is grab the stairs here from the middle middle there and then I might be going over. Oh, I'm just in. So, yeah, just in there. Which, thank goodness for that. So, yeah, keep that the same. Because, yeah, why not? Uh, flower wise. I wonder just for these, because it kind of goes with that. Just one there. I wonder if this would look all right. Obviously, we'll do it from this side. These top ones as well would work. Probably best doing one, really. Um, but yeah, tis what it is. Yeah, I kind of like it, so yeah. Like that. Did I put lanterns on this side? That, that is the thing. Yes, I did. So, yeah. That's good. And, um... kind of feel like... I'm not sure if it'd work, though. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep it like that for the second. But I was thinking maybe have, like, this line in it. But, obviously, these are in the way, so best not but yeah that should be all right and uh, we can work on the tower i'm gonna call this part one i think um because there is it's gonna be really long otherwise um i can see another eight hour video <laughs> coming along i'm gonna put these little pins in place that kind of looks like it's pinned in place maybe for these as well actually just across here and around here obviously not for that bit because it's going to be yeah it's going to be part of that so what we've done at the other side it's going to be the same really like 
that and that and yeah we need to add some flowers in here let's add some oranges now maybe some oranges here oranges at the back instead of the blue and this side here just the one in fact three because we're removing those aren't we yes got to got to keep thinking i'm going to try something here it might not work but um one two three four five like this right bear with me this could be terrible right so i'm gonna bring the stone down here and across here as well because i kind of wanted to do a statue um just kind of maybe about this high actually that should be okay so something like this like a statue on top of there maybe maybe even lower we don't want it that high um, maybe something like that and then we can just maybe just on that there maybe maybe that might work yeah something like that just like a statue on there so i'm going to do the same at this side so you're not confused uh, one two three there should be two spaces from that so that one should be there instead of there and just pull three back like that and then just kind of bring it up and uh, yeah i'm not sure what um level it should be kind of tempted to <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm so sorry guys um yeah i'm tempted to do it from here but obviously i'm gonna have to do that and just leave one because yeah so right i'm gonna try this it could look terrible though um, but i'm gonna give it a go so place this here and then we might have to remove <laughs> this as well Oh, you hate me at this point. I know. It's okay, though. And then I'm going to grab the spruce. Might as well do both of them at the same time. Like that. And then we're going to put this one on like this. And then we can complete it inside by putting an upside down one there. Like that. We're going to have to go to the front. Okay. So we've got that, and then a stair at the front like that, and then maybe something going up like this. I remember seeing like someone doing a snake kind of thing online, so I'm trying to like do it. So that, that, maybe we could go, hmm, maybe I could go one more stair, and then a block yeah that's kind of all right so far and maybe because the neck's now curling round we could go like that and then maybe another block there and then this is a tricky part um for the head maybe something like a stair there an upside down stair here like this and then maybe a slab or something I might have to put a slab underneath this one kind of thing slab there and there yes <laughs> yeah and then maybe like a trapdoor thing on there just to like accentuate that curl a little bit more maybe under there yeah maybe and then I might see if this will work just kind of its eyes should be there really um, I wonder if I could be like this I kind of like it like that which is better I kind of like that one it's kind of like a one so yeah just replacing that for a 
a block and then boom I can at least put that on and then we could maybe so it's not just all complete block like that let's see what this looks like <laughs> could we get some bushes around it maybe maybe that might give it a little bit extra because I just felt like this roof was really plain um, maybe we could just get the bushes at the side like that yes yes yeah I kind of like that definitely looks like Chinese Japanese whatever it's, uh, it's something isn't it really yeah maybe we could just something like that I'm messing around with a couple of ideas anyway do you know what I mean it doesn't have to be like this um, maybe something like that just adds a little bit of detail into it but what I'm wanting to do um, I did actually do a little template of a kind of tower thing that I was planning on doing so yeah let's do this tower on top so let's build it up like this Ginnar sandstone and it's the same day so uh, yeah same day I've just done my workout so I'm feeling a bit more energized so hopefully I can try and boss through this hopefully I'd like to do it in one sitting but yeah it it ruins you after a while I'll be honest with you right so this height wise one two three four one two three four four and then the fifth one could maybe go across like this something like this should do like that and then if we get this to go around there and then up the sides here and maybe on top yeah like that could always add a little bit more detail later um, yeah I'm gonna do that for each one and then this one same um, right so now I'm gonna get some of these blocks the the grass blocks or dirt blocks because if you're in survival you just have to use dirt because yeah, it spreads up quite far I might actually do it for five make them a bit bigger kind of want this to stand out so maybe we could put this kind of supporting it up on each one going round and then we will use the spruce underneath and here as well I wonder if it's worth um, maybe putting these at the side instead of that and then we can hang the lanterns from there at least I think that might be quite a good idea and um, yeah I kind of feel like doing this where instead of that being that it could be dirt blocks and then at least we can use some bamboo so it kind of looks like um, yeah 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 I'm gonna do that okay so this here so obviously it'll be just at these two sides but it should be okay because I was thinking maybe we could do, 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 put this to here across here and then use some bamboo to kind of support it like that just to add something different to it and then we can add some purple flowers or something or some pink flowers yes yep and then for this one I'm gonna do it on the inside actually for this top one and then put these here it's going across like that and then across the top here I kind of want to pattern it in, in this 
so I can speed this bit up. So exactly what I've done on the front, I'm going to do on the back. Just see what this looks like. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Um, yeah, so what I've done here, I'm going to do on this side. And then just exactly the same on this side, but obviously minus the this bottom bit. But I guess we can at least maybe put some just little windows here, I think would be fine. Just to add something. And then of course we can put these in like that. So yeah, I'm going to speed this up. So exactly what I've done here, going to do on the other side. And then of course, just do this for these. So it's basically, yeah, fill it all in. So yeah, I'll come back. Okay, so I've done that. And what I'm going to do is maybe add some flowers. As you can see, it's all the same all the way around. And these two are the same as well. And I'm thinking about maybe we'll get some lanterns because we'll use them. And some pots as well. Because I was just going to put some little uh, bamboo pots like on these. And then just below it I can dangle some lanterns from it. So you just put some bamboo in these. And uh, yeah. Tower's got a bit more detail. And uh, yeah, should look alright for it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to put the lanterns underneath each one of these. And then we can have a look back, see how it looks, see if it looks alright. Um yeah I can't put any more there so yeah that should be alright I kind of feel like we should do more to this roof as well um, just something like this and then we can add some something to it we could put um, something on top maybe what have we used? Yeah, maybe these railings or something like that. Just keep it nice and simple. And yeah, I could probably do it like that and then actually put, just put lanterns on them so at least it's lit up around the roof areas as well. Yes. And I'm tempted to uh, see if it's worth putting any of the these on, like here. Just so it looks a bit different. So I add something to it, yeah. I'm going to keep that there. So it's just like a little bit of detail. Just to about there. I think it's enough. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to do the statues on this side, but you can do if you want. But I think obviously for the courtyard, it's going to be a, a little bit more grand anyway. So yeah, hopefully it looks all right. looks a bit different from your typical Chinese, Japanese um, build. One, two, three. One, two, three two three high let's go four yeah I should get, stick with three actually go like that and then yeah we can work with this because I guess I don't want it too high because then it'll yeah be a bit too much probably uh, this is where I'm gonna do like your traditional Japanese roof um, it probably be a lot better for it. So I'm gonna do this. <laughs> no idea, right? So let's start with this at least going round. And then let me try this at least and then I can see if it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, I want to try it like this, so it might be a bit 
I might have to remove what I've put there because I kind of want this to go over it like this so this would be kind of covering it or maybe like this at least yeah I do apologize for removing all this but you know what can you do I kind of just want to get it to look right um, but yeah So something like that and then I kind of feel like it should we should try and get it to curl round now so maybe if we get some of this and then have like um, one two three one two three and <laughs> ignore that and then yeah, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. I think that should be all right. One, two, three. One. No, nah. no, one, two, three, and then those one, two, three. I might have to remove those to curl up the corners, but yeah, I'm just kind of going with the flow of it, so it's not going to be exactly right, but it's worth a try at least. Three there. Hmm. Kind of like that, I think. Yeah. So something like that, I think. So what that would be would be one there, one there, and then one there, like that. So we're gonna have to remove these two pieces, put two there, one there, one to the side, so we can remove it and put it back. That makes sense. Yeah. So I've got that. We can probably hang some lanterns from that. Um, I wonder if it's worth bringing this down or would that look stupid? That, I kind of like it. So we'll bring this down. And then this is when we can kind of just curl this roof up and it should work then. He. And um, I'm trying to think, should we put something on the top to make it kind of a bit more grand or just keep it simple? I'm very unsure at the moment of how this is going to be, but I'm just going to kind of go with it. And uh, you never know, you might end up with an okay product. And you don't have to do exactly like I'm doing. I'm sure you guys know that, but yeah. Yeah, something like this. And then maybe if we stick to what we've done there, we could just keep it simple have one of those with like that on and then we can hang some of these from here maybe on just on the four corners two corners even and then we could get some of these trap doors maybe there to kind of close this off so it kind of looks like a bit more of a detailed roof than it actually is that look all right and then underneath we can place them underneath where they are so it kind of just yeah yeah I'll go with that and then we can stick some buttons here on each one of these ones here going around yeah pretty awesome so now this is pretty much the same as what we've done here so I will do one two of them and then just kind of imagine it's the same for every single one. So altogether that's going to be one, two, three, four. God, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So an extra five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
and I'm tempted to actually make this tower because that one didn't work over there because it's a corner I'm tempted to make it a little bit bigger so we could at least do the same up to this point up to this point sorry and yeah and then make this one a bit higher one two one two one two and then we could just put like one of those roofs on it if you know what i mean if that'd work hmm maybe it's best to take this along here so we know we can kind of join it in there and then we can have that one a little bit like one two higher or something like that so yeah put this across like this and it's kind of like a, a watch out tower I guess and then yeah so we're gonna um, yeah I'll join these while I'm here might as well do the same with this one as well but I'll like, kind of cross it over for this just so we know it's different there as well so exactly the same just fill in that across on every single one of those up to there can leave this box for now and then put these on top of it like that on all sides bring this all the way across you can actually fill that box in as well and bring the roof all the way across with some lanterns going all the way across there so I'm gonna fill this roof in and fill all this it's just basically copying what you've done there pretty simple and just stopping when you get to here so yeah I'll speed this bit up okay so I've done that and uh, what I'm gonna do for this one kind of might as well carry on with this and this is gonna be exactly the same as those so I might as well complete this at least and then we'll stop it there like that and then obviously this goes through and we're just gonna have to carry on exactly like we've done with the other one and yeah so one two three so one two three one two three one two three one two three and that can kind of kill around here actually to start there and we just stop at this point here and I wonder if it's worth just bringing this one around like that and then we can fill the rest in with this going across just for there and then we can grab our smooth sandstone and just fill in these outside bits like this maybe up here as well I suppose we could do it on the inside as well um, but I guess it's not so much necessary so yeah that's all right there um yeah let's do it here as well so you just got kind of like a two gap to get through and it kind of closes off that roof as well so you don't see like the roof going through there and uh, yeah this could be kind of a watch out tower or something i'll figure out what i've got to do so yeah just basically copying exactly the same as what we do with this one so bringing these up till the the meet and stop there so like this and then you, of course you'd have your, your spruce log just stopping at this point here. And then of course this on top. So I'm going to speed that up and of course we're going to do the railings and stuff. And yeah, I'm going to put the railings not across there. I'm going to put them all the way around here and join this one as well. So you can put the lanterns on the inside as well and this stuff going around. So I'll speed this up. So basically just completing this with the roof. And then I have to put some lanterns 
kind of trailing all the way up there but you can space them out a bit more i'm just doing it every other one so yeah okay i've done that now and up here this is probably going to be the floor level we can put some stairs going up here to get onto this top part but uh yeah it's going to be kind of the watch out tower so another three high maybe one two three one two three and then we can get this in fact let's do one more higher and it gives a bit more room to actually see out from the tower at the top here might just keep it simple and then use these to go around Um, what else now I need to figure out the roof so let's do the same kind of thing anyway so we're going to use this as our marker so like this every other one and then we can have this on top curling round and then we can use the the slab to yeah fit in and hopefully it looks okay for it so yeah I'm gonna speed that up just getting that to the top so I'll work on this bit so where are you there we go so one two three and then one two for this one because we haven't got as much space Two, three, one, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. And one, two. And then, yeah. So we have one in each of these. Oh, I forgot to put that on actually. That's why it didn't work. So there and there. And then one up. So we're going to have to put it to the side like that. So it just kind of kills up. So one either side. Make a big one to remove it and put it back. And then this final one. Okay. You're definitely going to have to help me out with some likes here. <laughs> Can you tell I'm slowly like... I'm slowly losing it here. Like, oh my god. Um, right. Maybe. Just. I might actually put some patterns around in this as well. S to there. Yeah. I think that should be fine. Okay very nice and then maybe we could have like just a little window maybe not maybe the top one top one like that and then I'm going to use this just to go over the top of it there keep it nice and simple and um, not going to do it for that one because that could be the stair so we'll just keep it like that without taking the window out so yeah, and then here we could we could add bush around there, maybe. Or we could do this or this, and then we can add lanterns sitting up on that. So yeah, lanterns on these bits, and then underneath these. And that should be okay yep so that's nice so far it's looking good um yeah and then we can get some bushes for this and a little bit just for that little bit there just to decorate it and here if you don't want people kind of getting through you can kind of block it off with some bush as well just to make it because we could do some underground gardens underneath these 
but at least people can't get through because we've got the bush in the way so that's good so around to here we could even have a little just a random square here just to keep it yeah just little gardens here and there and get some stone wall just random stone wall coming around here could have this level a bit higher maybe just some ideas you don't have to do it like this um, get some stone slab or something like that you can kind of walk through this area yeah and go underneath there I need to connect that to that it's not good I'm missing that so yeah get up into here and we've got bits here and then you can kind of obviously close it off so people are not walking all the way through that bit and maybe finish it off with the stone coming around here and then just maybe that and have some bush coming down this one just for something different add some lanterns about and stuff you can see how you can start to get into the, the decoration of it but yeah um, for now I'm kind of keeping it fairly simple and then we can add loads more detail in different areas um, to make it start to come alive so yeah so yes um, right let's do this this is where this is coming to here this is going to be our main entrance so might as well bring that up to there because there's going to be a wall there and um, bring this to here okay and then we could have like this end in here so yeah and then this is could be the start of the big main entrance so just pull that off and just stick it there because yeah I'm gonna figure out something for that uh, but for now that should be all right and then this wall we can figure out that later and yeah so you can see how you can only just get underneath here but when you start digging under the ground and stuff um, yeah you can really bring it to life so yeah and get my lanterns every other one it can be random they don't have to be like this oh my god about to lose it um, so we've got that there and I mean if you wanted to do the same thing here but just keep it basic just something like that just so it looks less plain just every other one we don't even have to put the lanterns on this bit just uh, you know like that and then it probably make more sense with that I suppose we could get away with doing this like that probably makes that look a bit more like it makes sense yeah because before it looked a bit a bit strange so yeah um, let's have a look you can get a better feel for it when you're looking around like this um, so I'm gonna let's say this is obviously gonna be something I'm gonna put path here maybe so um, where is the path block just to close it off for now there will obviously be more path there right so this is what I wanted to do um, one two like this and just come in all the way along here the same size as that so from that pole to that pole there then I wanted to fill it in with stone but I'm gonna use normal stone and then stone stairs wherever those are and do this it could work might not work but I haven't tried it yet but okay so and then have like a gap there 
where water's going to be, but the water's going to be flowing through um, the stairs, if that makes sense. So this is more part of the garden, so area, but yeah. Just bring it up the same thickness as pretty much our front there, and then yeah, it should fit perfectly. Now I've just got to see how it plays out. Right, so I'll fill stone in all of these. And then I'm kind of wanting water to flow through and either side as well. But flow through stairs. Because you don't want a huge gap because you'll be falling through, but you want a big enough gap so you can see the water flowing through. So if we do this like this it'll all make sense soon if it doesn't make sense now like that and then finally this and then we can experiment and test it out obviously I'm going to be making the water much deeper than this so two either side of it just for now anyway where well, we've got this and the stone going across there and then fill that stone in same at this side so just taking two out filling that stone in in fact three out of this one of them is going to be stone Does that make any sense to you? Because I think I've gone wrong. <laughs> oh my god! Um, yeah, I must have gone wrong when I was putting these down. So... Uh, I guess I can do this. Bring this in. I'm so sorry, but yeah. I kind of want it to work, so... Um, yeah. This is what happens, I guess. So yeah, it's just basically moving that one forward. That's it, really. No biggie. And then I can put it either side. Like this. Like that. Just so you've got kind of two paths that kind of run through there. Let's put a bit of stone here as well. Like that. And then when we fill our water in, here in here and the same with this as well here and here and then we can <laughs> get a bit of water flowing through because yeah if you did a, a one gap space I don't think it would work as well but something like this yeah if you get that, you get like little streams and stuff in Japanese villages and stuff where you're, you're walking across. So yeah, there you go. Um, and I kind of wanted to do something like this. So if we grab these, just for the two. And then we can wrap these in this. And we can turn these into like little flower pot things. Maybe put some bamboo actually. Probably be a cool one. Get some really tall bamboo coming out of these. Bit of a bit of effort. Uh, I can't even speak. Bit of effort this one, but yeah, hopefully it's worth it. And um, could we even do this going all the way through? Because that, nah, I'll keep it like this. Yeah, and then bamboo. Two, 
three, two, three. Because I kind of wanted it to cover up, but using the bamboo as kind of um, cover. One, two, three. One, two, three. A bit awkward these. And very, <laughs> very annoying to put down. Right. I feel bad for people doing this in survival. I honestly do. Um, I should probably put a trigger warning <laughs> at the start of it. Do not do this in survival because you will hate yourself. Maybe something like this going across. You'll either hate yourself or you hate me. Most likely you'll hate me, but yeah. What can you do? Um, so yeah, something like this. And then let's just have a little look while we're kind of, yeah. And then I feel like we can just plate it. Because people love to hear that clicking sound <laughs> every time they walk in. I suppose it, it lets you know uh, when people are coming into your house. Click, 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 click. click. So yeah, something like that. You can actually put lights underneath there as well. I probably wouldn't put too many, but you can have lights so uh, when people are kind of walking through. Um, maybe just strip down the middle or something. So whenever you walk down the middle, you get it lighting up. Like that. Maybe a but every other one. It's a lot. I do realise, but you know, at this point I'm past going. <laughs> so deal with it. I'm sorry, mate. Right. Obviously, you don't have to do all this. This is just kind of I'm showing you kind of yeah, just what I'm trying to guess what might work. Won't necessarily all work, but yeah those might start coming down as well so that might come become quite annoying but yeah let's have this going across here okay and then let's have this joining onto these just like it has there and yeah I've got to put this out like that Yes, so, um, yeah, we can do some different levels, so like, say, if you wanted the rocks to kind of come up at this level, have different bits that, yeah, and it goes down at that level, maybe, have it up here, you could have it go even higher after that, I think probably, that's a probably a good point. To uh, bring it down about here, maybe something like that, or maybe even at that point. So yeah, something like that, and obviously you use the slabs as stairs to get up onto these points, and then you can do flower beds and stuff and little points of something could just have like a little shrine here of uh, utter nothingness um, I'm gonna be putting lots of banners around this place I think because um, yeah Maybe some banners as you come in. I don't know. I wonder if banners would go on here. Or if it would look even half alright. <coughs> I 
I guess you can keep it busy like that, just adding little stuff around. And yeah, for here, have this around here. You can even have it going back here. Just why not? And obviously to get in here, you could have a crossing point so people cross here or something. So if you want to get into this bit, yeah. Cross on there. And uh, yes, so. <laughs> you tell I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and then, for no reason whatsoever, just have some of these just strategically placed with some lanterns on just dangling down there just completely random yes and um, yeah I'll obviously I'll do a lot more and add in a lot more bushes and stuff around and um, I think I'm going to need to sleep for a little bit so I'll come back a little bit more fresh and so I'm not like half asleep and then I'm just kind of doing stuff for the sake of it to maybe to that point there and um, add some trees around and stuff but yeah so far so good we've got quite a bit done hopefully it's a compound that you will uh, be pretty proud of once it's finished so yeah, different areas. We could have bits where you can like come down from here and stuff. So it doesn't all, you can just take out bits wherever you like really. Um, like just take out that, add some stairs here. Just coming down from there so you can, yeah. That brings you down into this courtyard. There's loads of different things that you can kind of do. Maybe put that there. Have that as a big one. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna come back once I'm a bit more fresh. Cause at the moment, as you can tell, I'm drifting away. In fact, I'll finish off this and just talk about nothing. So you've been up too much lately. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you, you, you're gonna have to. Um, you're gonna get, get, get. I'm even stuttering. I'm that tired. <laughs> That's not normal. Well, probably is for me. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to let me know what sort of builds you like. I don't even know if people really like these long ones. I know some of you absolutely love these long ones. Um, building along with these, um, but yeah, it's kind of hard to find that happy medium because um, the small builds yeah people don't seem to i think it's just my channel i'll be honest with you um i've been away from that for that long um that i just don't get promoted very much and i kind of uh i suppose everyone i kind of think it's my content sometimes but i kind of don't because like i look at the other youtube um videos out there and there's not really anybody doing that much vast better projects really um so yeah i don't want to be too modest but yeah i just i think mine I should get at least more than what i'm getting well just on the pure fact of how many subscribers i've got not because i think i'm something special or anything just more the fact that yeah i was doing a lot better with a lot worse builds before unless minecraft's kind of slowly fading out i don't know really so yeah i'm gonna leave it there and uh, yeah i'll come back uh, probably tomorrow so yeah right okay so it's the next day and i'm ready to uh, start on this so yeah i'm gonna do exactly the same here as what i've done on the other side right so um yeah i'm probably gonna speed this up basically um just basically up to here but i'll show you to the point where we're gonna stop so exactly what we've done on the other side we're gonna stop here actually so we're bringing all these up like we've done and there should be easy enough to replicate hopefully 
right up to this point here right we only want it up to that so that bit there so what we've done here where it's from there to there we're going to do the same thing to here and then we're going to do something different here maybe a tiny little wall and then we can fill in the gardens and we're pretty much done oh yeah and the front entrance of course uh, so yeah i'll speed this bit up or come back when i've got something that remotely looks like this i'm obviously not going to do the stairs yet so yeah basically this through here and then we've got the three lock going through there so just exactly the same just opposite sides so yeah i will speed this up and i'll come back once it is done and hopefully you've got something that looks pretty much like that so yeah right okay so i've got that done and yeah i've just decided to put some banners going around here as well i've actually done it at the other side it just gives it a little bit of something but obviously you can put some designed banners and stuff i have no idea how to do any of that so don't ask me go online and look at some japanese banners that you could maybe put down and stuff um just to make it look extra do you know what i mean um yeah i'm gonna do this bit here so this i'm gonna bring it up we kind of want it to the same level as this so we can kind of come across maybe take out that and we can bring this through and then we can have it part of it same with this one as well we can have the roof end in there and this going up and over like this and this could be the start of our um, new kind of thing I don't know what it's called so I'm gonna have this up to here and then bring up this one I'm gonna leave that one there because that's gonna be part of this kind of wall I have no idea what the walls gonna look like um, so yeah I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow of it so yeah we've got that framework there so it's just one above there and then um we could maybe do kind of um let's see i kind of feel like i should because of the where one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i don't know what information i got from that <laughs> i have no idea um all right i'm gonna go like this I'm going to have this kind of a fairly bigger roof. Um, just kind of a slanting roof going down. Um, just for a different angle. And just giving it a bit something else. So I'm going to put a stair under like this until it reaches the top. And just fill this whole roof in like this. So just going to have a trim of that. Peeking that up to the top. Peeking that one up to the top. And I'll come back once it is done. And then you'll kind of see. And we can yeah add some stuff take some stuff away at a later date so yeah right i've got that roof done there and uh, yeah i think what i'm going to do for here is kind of use these here and um yeah i can extend this here so bring this across here and maybe we might have the stairs starting from there so stairs coming down from kind of this point here like that and then down again so it's gonna have to be three lots of stairs coming down like that and then obviously fill this in like this and uh, yeah I might have to put that a little bit through there so just for now about four height there and then this across here and then just fill this in and uh, yeah you can add so much to this this could be kind of um, I'm tempted to put this as like an enchantment area um, for our Japanese place so you can kind of still use it as uh, yeah something usable in survival so just in the middle there or we could have a never pole in this area that might work as well and um, so we'll have these going around this going around to here like that that fenced off that fenced off and then of course we can put these on top just to keep him with the theme I don't need that banner there I guess now and this going across here and here might bring that one through like that so let's have a little look back from there okay and then I kind of want to because we've got a middle here I want to have this striped up like this and then we can fill it in with sandstone same at this side so straight up the middle and then just one there you can actually put one in the corner as well that would probably work the right way up and then let me get some of this smooth sat I've already got it we can actually put some of these on the inside can hang, hang a lot more later but yeah and 
side as well. I'm not sure if I should kind of leave it open plan at the front like this or maybe just have at least a trim like this. That going across there, that going across there, so like two thickness. And then we can put a pole underneath and it kind of, yeah, it's just basic, but yeah, it works. That across there. And then we've got this bit in here. Yeah, we can kind of remove this here just to fit this going across probably work a bit better and then we can have these kind of joining together we can stop that there it's going across the front as well and the sides like that I guess we can put that wall into that now it's all working out so let's have a look from the front okay very nice and then we can add some kind of little windows you want to keep it kind of fairly basic let me change slash slash just so I can get a bit of sun from this area yeah and then get some of these and then underneath here we can have this overhanging maybe kind of at that level about three times maybe like that and then we can have a post coming down from here and this will help with the stairs that down to there and then we can bring it down or across a bit more and then bring it round to here so it kind of like stops there like that very nice and uh, yeah we've got that there we can actually um, have that going across and then just fill it in it's probably best going from there actually like that yeah and then we can fill it in with these at the bottom like that very nice uh, yeah the wall wise this we could probably one two three 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 I kind of want to make it in this stuff so I can bring this across to here do it kind of three height fairly basic wall but yeah I think because uh, we've got a lot more detail all over the place it might look okay for it okay let me have a look back very nice yes and then we can take the pole now and bring this across then bring this to join into here and then just up one more like that and then we can just add some fence across here like that and then of course we what we can do is maybe place some of the oak like that and then add this trim like that and then we can add one of these on each one and then we could maybe get the oak on this as well and then we can just put some bushes there or something get some bush across the bottom and yeah we've got a pretty basic wall but I kind of like it like that nice compound wall and then of course you can start adding the banners as well just to keep with the detail might put them higher actually like there see there there you go and of course you can add texture to it um, by adding some stones here and there or buttons even maybe some birch might just here and there
like that. Same with this as well. Just adding little kind of details. You can take some stuff out and of course keep adding to the detail by at least having stuff like that. You know? Or if you want into uh, maybe add some of this for uh, colour. Like that, you know? Um, but I'll leave it kind of up to you guys what you kind of want it to look like. Um, so you can kind of do your own thing with making it a bit more detailed. But I kind of like it plain like that. Gives it a nice compound feel. And then, of course, you can, little examples, you can kind of put this out like this and have hanging lanterns here and there. Dangle them around the place where you feel it would work. You can have them kind of messed up and in different places as well. They don't have to be where I'm putting them. Just wherever you feel there needs to be some light, I guess. So yeah, we've got that. Cool. And then we've got this front entrance and then we can kind of decorate it a little bit better on the inside. I might leave it for video too for kind of like the extra decorations. But for now I can leave it kind of like this. But just get this through now. So, okay. Get this and we can bring it over the top here. Like this. Kind of want them all going the same way. And this up like that. And this over. Perfect. And then for this one, kind of go like this. a little bit more detail on this one I think maybe might work a bit better for us place that there maybe another one and then get a slab like this that and then I kind of want to start it kind of coming up like this now just as a I can maybe have a no nah, no nah, no nah, no nah, no nah. I might actually curl it around and just complete like this because I think it's a bit too small thin wise for it to look any good the other way so yeah but um, we could maybe add those snakes that we've done uh, over there we can maybe get some of those and put them at the front here somehow I'm gonna try and copy and paste one of them at least and see if it works um, so I'm gonna have to copy and paste from here maybe okay from there to here and then where I would want it slash slash copy and then maybe somewhere like if we count one one two three four five maybe there slash slash paste And then the same one, two, three, four, five on this one. Paste. And there we go. So, yeah, you can just copy what you did over there. I forgot to get the eyes on at least. For our dragon snake, whatever it is. Okay, very nice. And I kind of think we could probably maybe get away with something like this. Maybe starting from here, so where the snake is. 
and bring it here. Just so the front entrance is not just like a plain wall, we can at least, yeah, like this. And then have this go into the front here. And then have these like this. I might actually flick up the front. So like have a flick up like that. And then on the inside there and there and there. Then we can get our smooth sandstone. Just for those bits there. Like that. And then, um, yeah, I kind of feel like I could have something like this across here. And then maybe windows here. And then maybe some kind of window here. Maybe with some of the bushes or this stuff. Like that. That across the top. And then, of course, here. And then we can use these ones to do our windows here. I wonder if it's cool to do it like that, maybe. So, yeah. And then we can bring this down to here. And this one to here as well. Um, we can maybe do it on the inside here as well. So we can remove that one. Bring it up to there. Remove that one. Bring it up to here. And then we can fill that in with the sandstone. Or maybe what we've done at the here. So the stripped out log. something different different colors and I'm tempted to just do like two here like this and then we can use the I'm gonna do it here as well remove that and then we can use this stuff um, to line it Like that, very nice, and we'll get some bushes there as well. So it'd be kind of um, like a, an entrance. You'd have maybe something like this, and then some large bushes coming up. Like that, and then maybe, just maybe, um, if I can find it. We have some kind of an archway of some form like that. And then of course we're going to have some lanterns and stuff. Or maybe a bell. Bell there and then two lanterns as you enter. And because it's a front entrance we could have one, two, one, two and then our spruce. And then here we could just do the one with the spruce. And then maybe something like this. And then when you add your buttons and stuff like in the stone. Like that. And maybe here and here. Just kind of makes it pop a bit more. Can maybe put a bell up here as well. So um, have that there instead. And a bell. Kind of a grand entrance sort of thing and maybe behind this we could have some like trailing bush or something have this up to here like that and then of course we could have this post across here like that bring that up and bring well that one's already up and then what we've done here we can kind of repeat on the other side but a bit more basic so a bit more like this does that go all the way up to the top yet and just fill these in kind of thing 
maybe fill that hole in and then we can see what it looks like and see if it's too basic and then we can go from there so I'll remove this bring that up and that and then we've got a bit of better idea of what we're going for and um, now we could maybe make stairs I'm probably going to do it in the oak actually some stairs coming down here so we can actually get into this area here from here like that same with this one that one's probably worth going into the ground and we can have two exits there like that and yeah something like this we would need some lanterns maybe yeah we can get through that area we can light it up in here and stuff and you can obviously put flooring down and stuff like that and yeah so where we've got this here we kind of want it divided from the wall maybe it's probably best to do that actually because you only want people coming in through the front entrance maybe this could be filled in as well and this one as well so people use the appropriate doors so on the inside here yeah kind of feel like we could do something like this we could add some plants there maybe just keep it nice and simple like that and yeah of course we can get some of this but it's up to you at this point kind of for these little bits on the inside some hanging lanterns you can even do it for each one of this so you can have a, a lantern for each one obviously not for that one but yeah and uh, so yeah something like that and uh, yeah you can do different levels on this I'm gonna leave this for another video I think because I've done a lot and uh, I'm just gonna kind of look around see if it's all okay um, let's get some flowers in there at least at the front and of course I think what we should do for the front entrance at least to get some pathway kind of into the place so yeah like that I wonder if it's worth putting one of those on there that and maybe a bush on that yeah just makes the path a bit better and then yeah we could have some kind of paths here just the whole thing path probably and same within here as well if you wanted to make some kind of paths that kind of like wind round to certain areas you can do that as well so it looks kind of different add some bushes here and there I'm definitely gonna make it so you can kind of go down and underground here so I'm just gonna block it off for now uh, something like this add little patches and yeah we're gonna be walking down this area so this goes underneath here to take us to this path here so we might as well path that off I kinda want some flowers and some lighting around here so like bits of lighting as you come through and some kind of thingy flowers side here you come up onto here and stuff yeah definitely do some more work under here we could do underground bits and stuff like that but you kind of get the idea and um, same with this as well you can obviously stick to doing your paths and stuff so I have like path here so people are probably be using this huge path Uh, yeah 
add flowers, bushes, and if you just kind of... I think I'm just going to actually complete it, just do it as one video. I'm probably not going to do the interior unless like this blows up because I don't think this is going to do very well to be honest. Uh, this is why I've kind of put it off. So um, yeah, the people who are building it, um, you're going to have to try and do your own thing unless a lot of people kind of want it because it's just kind of not worth my time really um, because if if there is a lot of people that kind of do want it obviously it's uh, a bit more worth it but it's worth my time kind of spending my time building extra builds of a build that might actually pop off um, and do well but look at different Japanese stuff I think even just filling it in so it's kind of got like uh, it's not so neat it's got like garden areas and stuff and you can add little bits in here so like this as well overgrown areas kind of makes it look nice and here as well and and uh, yeah you can just start to look online of like little kind of interior decoration ideas uh, for Japanese sort of inspired stuff and uh, yeah you can kind of have like little seating areas with little lanterns at the side and just all sorts of magical things um, I don't even know if it's worth like just kind of like this with uh, a thing on just randomly placed there you could probably use that as kind of like a theme thing so like little orange things with lanterns on around the area it just kind of makes it look a bit more busy interesting like there's something going on and then you start to just kind of just go through this is what I would do I'd probably go like this right I might use some barrels might add some grindstones around the area maybe a lectin here and there um, maybe have kind of like a target arch area or something this could probably be like a little training area or something like that so you could have like your targets on the side of the wall here maybe with I don't know it's probably best just kind of like that um, little targets and then maybe you've got an area where you've got a stand behind so um, each post here so could be where you kind of yeah shooting off from the arches would uh, go behind this kind of bit you could probably make it stone or something like for this little bit you kind of walk into this area and this is more of the, the arches area let's grab some stone and yeah you can even fence it off as well just makes it look a bit more legit Could have this going to here so this kind of bit is like blocked off different kind of uh, height wise and stuff you kind of walk in through this area there and then you go into your archers area where you can do some archery and stuff and then you can just add like bits where you would obviously keep your archery equipment and stuff and maybe a grindstone at the side just random places and stuff just to make it look a little bit more busy in different areas maybe you'd have like a, a working bench area here little barrels stacked in different places just completely random areas as well just kind of like stacked up even just here a little horse and cart or something um, even like a wood stack so you could be like this and then if you get the rails I've got hiccups for some reason and if you get something like this just keep it nice and simple that going up there 
and then a rail kind of going over the top so it's kind of pinning it in place. You might need some kind of... It doesn't have to be all clean path. It can be kind of bits like this where you can have like flowers and stuff growing out of the ground. And uh, kind of like that. Maybe some around this area. And then yeah, just this kind of going over the top. Just making it busy, you know. Even just a random one here. With the lantern there. And same as what we've done here, you can have them around here as well. Kind of like maybe one might be here. This is what I would do, just completely make it a bit random, you know. Maybe two there, like that. Get some more banners around the place, you can even attach them on here, kind of, just randomly. Doesn't have to necessarily make sense all the time, it can just be kind of, uh, yeah, sometimes random makes it look a bit more better. So yeah, can do them either side. Get some different colours and stuff, and then yeah, you can just really start to as you walk around you kind of get a, an atmosphere of it. Um, little stones kind of here and there. On the stone parts and stuff and yeah just uh, keep adding to it from then and then you've got like pots. That's Let's see, let's get some like white flowers around and I don't know why people put them there, they just did. Just randomly placed around, just kind of uh, wherever you think might look good. So we'll put some flowers there or something, you can do it on these ones as well kind of flowers obviously they don't have to be the white these are kind of just an example of what you can do um, yeah putting furnaces around even if you just wanted this as kind of like a little smelting furnace area you can do that as well the whole thing just uh, yeah I'm gonna have to crouch down to actually place these like that going all the way across and then yeah, fit it in with that so you've got a little furnace area that you can work on in there just so much there's it's kind of limited obviously with the kind of blocks we've got in minecraft but i mean we've got little grates here as well this is where some of the water kind of drains into different places or something like that maybe just a little drain there and uh, yeah just kind of go with the flow of it you can add kind of um, in those traditional Japanese village they have kind of like uh, I'd probably do it in a an oak actually get some chains dangling down from some places um, yeah kind of they have these kind of funny ladders kind of jolting up in different areas can have the ladders that kind of take you up into a certain area maybe into there or something ladders up the side here kind of take you up into obviously it's not usable but it kind of looks like it's a usable area so ladders you can climb off into here or something like that like that I might actually bring that out like that and yeah you can start adding to it so a little kind of ladder area there might look interesting if we had 
kind of a ladder coming up this area as well. Actually take that away. And then have that. And I might do what I did here, but have this. Is it? Climbing up into that top area there. Um, so yeah, just little things like that um, can make the difference to, to your build. So we've got ladders around the area and places like that. You can have like this bit here if you just kind of take that out and maybe if you wanted to add some stairs coming down in different areas, wherever you feel, you don't want to get out of that bit so you kind of want to yeah, get into this bit somehow in a different way. Maybe have that coming up there and just a little thing on the side. Put that on there then. So yeah, you can get down that way, you can get to that that way. And then of course you've got like, uh, you can do different levels to that and stuff. Um, and maybe a crafting like thingy area here that you can go on to. But you kind of get the idea and hopefully you got at least some inspiration from this build and of course you can keep adding to it with uh, details of your choice um, especially with like this stuff probably would be better to add those little lanterns and stuff on them on top just to make it a little bit more interesting I guess like this um, yeah what we've done on the big roof so kind of, I might actually do that actually. It's a look better on the thumbnail. Just kind of like these things. And I forgot to put some chains, so I'm, I've got to remember that. Get some chains in some areas. But if you've enjoyed this and you thought it's all right, or at least got some inspiration from it at the very least, uh, make sure you slap a like on the video, because uh, it really does help me out. And share it with whoever, and uh, subscribe and all that magical stuff. Uh, but let's have a little look so far. That's looking nice. Might do it on this roof as well. On each one of these. Get these on. Yeah, it's a bit of a different one, this one. Um, probably not what I'm used to doing. So I've kind of like jumped in the deep end with this one because it's a bit like... It's a bit more out of my comfort zone compared to usually because usually um, back in the day I pr probably would have um, yeah been a bit better at this but I'm kind of just getting back into the swing of kind of freestyling something like this because I've had such a long break it's uh, yeah it's a bit different it's usually a kind of uh, yeah freestyle it but not to this point where I've got the garden and I've got like several houses kind of joining into one so yeah and uh yeah you just kind of look for inspiration online for like japanese gardens and stuff what you could add to this and uh yeah just kind of add your own stuff and hopefully you get some inspiration and yeah you create something that you're pretty proud of or you might have a japanese village and just want to add a few extra stuff I wonder if just kind of, I wonder if this looks silly. I'm going to try it though. Yeah, I kind of like that because it, uh, yeah, it just gives, uh, gives the build a bit of something instead of just it being like a plain roof. It's got like, yeah, some colours. I might do it on the front as well. Yes, very nice. And do it around here. Every little other way. But you kind of get the idea of what I'm kind of going with. Obviously, you get the ban uh, banners. Make your own kind of banners. That you think would work. And yeah. This is a lot of lanterns for obviously someone in survival or something like that. But... Um, I mean, if you can get something from it, add torches even, that might work. Um, yeah. Usually I would um, 
I'd like to plan these out, you know, like do it off camera, not do a block for block tutorial on most of these Japanese ones because like this it's not the most enjoyable. Um because you're just thinking on your toes, you can't kind of remove as many blocks as you'd like to do. Um, which can become quite annoying. So you don't get the best end product as what I would like. Rather than d just doing kind of like a, a really fast tutorial and just be like, yep, yeah, it's done. Kind of like those a bit better, but they, yeah. I get a lot of people asking for the block for block tutorials after. So maybe it's worth kind of just putting this out after I've done this. D put out a fast version of this. And then if people like it, a block for block, and then I've got kind of a bit more content, I guess. I could do that. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. My chains, 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 chains. Yeah. Maybe some hanging chains with some bushes on. You can make these a lot more better. You can just add some signs around it or something. You could even put these underneath. Add some signs around them. Yeah, you get the idea. Um, where else can I have some chains? Could I have a chain coming down from here? And then kind of a Japanese swing or something? <sighs> do Japanese have swings? <laughs> I'm sure they do. Um, there, Japanese swing. I kind of feel like we should at least do it in, yeah, one of these at least. Japanese swing. <laughs> I didn't even know they existed until today. Now they do. Um, and then I'm going to add some more. Yeah, you can add like egg. Sea pickles, eggs, and stuff just around. Just because. A couple of eggs on there for no reason whatsoever. A couple of eggs around the place. Some floating eggs. Some sea pickles around and I don't know why. It just makes it look a bit busy, I guess. That's a lot of sea pickles. It's a delicacy in, in Japan. <laughs> That's not true. Right, okay, so yeah, there you go guys. Hopefully you got something from it, you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, you can just keep adding to it. Say if you don't like this plain roof here, um, make it not plain anymore by adding some different extra things from it. So all the plain roofs, you, you know how to make it kind of not plain anymore. That makes sense, doesn't it? So yeah. So we've got that there. Might actually put this in here. Just a little bit there and then just uh, stick one of them in just it works I guess um, yeah on these roofs you could have other things as well so this is just an example of making the roofs less plain just have a small one kind of poking out like that like that and then maybe for this one you could have it so you could get a block and make it a bit higher so like that and then that and then just kind of curl it back do you know what I mean you can yeah make it your own just stick a, a button in there or something or like that maybe add some of these underneath and yeah you basically got yeah something like that yeah that could yeah you get the idea so it's kind of not plain um, you could do the same on this side you can make it even bigger for this one so like take it out from there put it to here here change the roofs about and uh, yeah so it doesn't look as plain I kind of did it plain at the start because yeah there'd be a lot of people that kind of don't want to mess around with this it's best to do kind of like the plain roof first 
before you start making these things because when you start to try to teach people how to do these ones it's a lot easier to do it this way than it is to like build it in with the roof if you know what I mean it gets a bit kind of awkward and um, so yeah let's see yeah something like that that kind of works and if you're kind of wanting to add more details just stick that's poking through and yeah might add some more bushes it but instead of like on the inside like I've done at the other side we could maybe put it on the outside as well kind of like round here it's kind of block it off that way and um, but yeah this is pretty much done now so um yeah hopefully I don't get loads of people asking for an interior and stuff because yeah it's been a been a lot to lot to do <laughs> i'm tired on the second day as well there's two days in a row you got to slap a like on this video but hopefully you do enjoy this japanese kind of castle now i just got to figure out how to take a picture of it where it actually looks yeah not so not so um yeah so it looks all right i guess so yeah i will catch you in the next video guys peace out <laughs>